So the point type that we added in the previous exercise we've got on screen here, but it doesn't match the formatting of the other labels, uh, namely the one uh, up here that was called Burbage Moor, and it does have the right formatting on it. So it's two levels of formatting, essentially. We have one which is the, the typographic formatting, which is the size of the text. If I click on that one, it's 14 points, Myriad Pro, regular. Um, but then we have the other appearance on top of that, which is the fill and the stroke. So first off, if I just um, left click on that text frame, go to window and go to graphic styles, as we saw before, this captures the graphic appearance, fill, stroke, other elements and effects. With that text frame selected, if I hover over this one here called labels and left click, it applies that fill and stroke appearance. So just like the root that we had for our cycling with the dots and the arrows in here, you can do that with your text as well. So that saves the printable appearance of fills and strokes. However, the other thing is that if I go up to the window menu and down to type and then choose paragraph styles, we have a way of capturing typographic formatting. So to do that, I'm going to select this text frame here, double left click, just insert my cursor in there, and then I'll go to the panel flight menu and choose new paragraph style. When this opens up on screen, um, the, the name itself is highlighted. So I'll call this large labels um, because we do have different, different sizes of labels in here. So best to distinguish, of course. And then uh, you'll notice that under basic character formats, it's captured Mario Pro, regular, 14 points. Um, even here to things like character color. Now, there isn't one set for this in here because it's... Um, it's been captured in the uh, in the graphic style, but um, we can add one in here just to be certain. So um, let's add black in here and then click OK. And then you'll notice if I hit the escape key on the keyboard, click on large labels just to apply it to the original one. If I go down here and then click on large labels, it applies the same typographic formatting. So even though I told Illustrator to set the character color for large labels to be black. It's actually the graphic style that works as a level of formatting on top of that, that gives it its gray fill for the text and the white outline of the stroke in there. So the two things can work in harmony. We've got paragraph styles for the typographic formatting, graphic styles for things like the fill and the stroke.